welcome, this is your five minute geography lesson. We're covering theme one, element four, main river and coastal processes. Date and title down in your books. I'm Mr. S and I'll be your five minute teacher. Today, we're looking at coasts and rivers and how they're both changed by erosional, depositional and transport processes. There are four main forms of erosion, which we're gonna look at today, which can be applied in two different directions and will occur at the coast and at a river. We're going to look at some transport processes, which we only look at in terms of rivers, and we'll also look at deposition in both rivers and coasts. So first, let's have a look at erosion. And we're going to start by looking at this idea of high energy to low energy. So all erosion will occur on this continuum. Some things will happen where it's got a lot of energy, some things will only happen where it's got a little bit of energy left. So this arrow represents the energy required for that process to happen. Rivers have the most energy in the upper course of the river because that's where they've got the most gravity, the gravitational potential energy pulling down on the river and on the material. And in the lower course, where it's closer to sea level, we've got less gravity, less gravitational potential energy, so it doesn't have as much energy to actually start eroding. Now we can apply these types of erosion in two directions. Vertical erosion is going to happen in the upper course and lateral er erosion is going to happen in the lower course. So vertical erosion is that material being pulled down. Lateral erosion is happening at the sides of the river where a vertical erosion can no longer happen. So you can see on the slide now that we've got four types of erosion. Hydraulic action is at the top and that requires the most energy to take place. So hydraulic action is that force of water hitting against the side of the riverbed or hitting against the side of the cliff and then it's forcing air into these tiny cracks. The air's got nowhere to go, so it happens in a sort of like an explosion and it pushes and makes those cracks bigger. Over time, when the cracks get so big, it weakens the surface of the rock and it'll break away. So that takes a lot of, a lot of energy to complete. We then have attrition. So attrition is erosion that happens to the material inside the water. So we might have two pebbles, They'll be pushed and knocked against each other and bits will fall away. You can see there's some small pebbles coming away. And what that ends up doing is making those pebbles smaller and smoother. We then have abrasion, and this is often called the sandpaper effect. So small pebbles are rubbed against the side of the cliff or the side of the riverbed, and they sandpaper away at that, making it smaller or creating an undercut or whatever that process might be. And then finally, right at the very bottom of our energy continuum, we've got solution. Now solution, because water is uh, in rivers and uh, the sea is slightly acidic, it dissolves carbonates in the rock. So certain rocks will be more susceptible, things like limestone will be more susceptible to being dissolved. So this solution is effectively dissolving the rock until it no longer exists, or part of it no longer exists in its current form. Solution is also going to appear again in our next one, which is transport. So again, we're staying with the energy continuum. So high energy at the top, low energy at the bottom. Traction is the highest energy required process of transport. So what's happening in rivers, remember the transport processes today are only looking at rivers. We've got larger boulders or larger rocks, maybe it's not boulders, are going to be rolled along the riverbed because they can't be picked up because they're too heavy. The river never has enough energy to pick up larger material. Further down, we've got saltation. This is also called leapfrogging. So these smaller pebbles can be slightly picked up by the river and it's current, but it's still too heavy to maintain that and it has to drop it again and it'll pick it up and drop in that leapfrogging motion. We then have suspension. So this is where we get the really small particles, things like sand and silt which can be picked up by the river and maintained in the body of the water and it doesn't touch the bottom. And at, right at the very bottom, we've got solution again. So that material that's been dissolved is now being carried in a dissolved form as a chemical in the water. And then we've got one more process to look at and this is deposition. Now deposition is when a river drops what it's carrying. Now this happens across the entire long profile of the river, it, ha it happens across the entire length of the coast. It happens in transportation, for example, where it's carrying these big boulders 
and rocks by rolling along the river. When it loses the energy to do that, it's also still carrying the small pebbles, it's also still carrying the um, sand and silt, and it's also still carrying the dissolved material. Which one's it going to drop first? It's going to drop the heaviest thing. So it's not going to carry the traction, the large, bo uh, pebble, uh, the large stones anymore. It's going to stop carrying those, but it's going to continue carrying these because they still require less energy. So when you get to the um, middle course of the river, it's not going to be carrying these anymore, but it still is going to be carrying these. And then when you get to the lower course of the river, it's still going to be carrying these two, but not these two because it doesn't have the energy anymore. And then when you get to the mouth of the river, it'll drop all those sand particles, but it'll still continue carrying the solution because it doesn't really require any energy at all to do that. And that is when the river carry it drops its load across the river or across the coast, that's deposition. Well, that brings our lesson to an end, but continue at your own pace by completing the now try tasks. Class dismissed.